So when you get COVID, how, how does it spread in your body? That's that's a great question. <clears throat> so so normally um, respiratory uh, viruses stay confined to the respiratory tract. So they initially infect usually in the upper respiratory in the sinuses, <clears throat> and then um, sometimes they're eliminated there. But some of the more deadly viruses then kind of drip down into the lungs and get deep down into the lungs. And I think in severe cases of COVID, it, it gets into the lungs. You get a lot of fluid build up there because of that, and it, it's almost like you're underwater and can't breathe because it, it's so deep down in your lungs and they get filled with fluid. Um, so I think the most severe effects are, are from that. But what we also know is the lungs are really in close contact with the blood supply. So it's very easy too when you have inflammation in the lungs for these uh, organisms to get into the blood. And when they get into the blood, they can go everywhere. So th there is some question now um, as to can, can COVID get to the brain? So I think they're, they're starting to look at that now and, and cause you know, disease by actually getting into the brain. But we know also that it may be able to shed and spread through the stomach. So, and that's kind of a unique thing to coronaviruses where I guess as it's, it's dripping down you know, the back of your throat, uh, of your sinuses going towards the lungs, it can also get into your stomach. And some viruses can survive, you know, the low, the, the, the low pH or the high acid of the stomach. And um, so it can cause um, diarrhea and, you know, stomach illness and maybe shed and spread, you know, when you go to the bathroom. So, so you think you want to be careful not only of, you know, respiratory hygiene, but then, you know, kind of like um, food and bathroom hygiene as well. <laughs>